Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. So we've just pulled up at Watch It and I need to pop to the post office and we're going to go and get some bread, milk and coffee, your classic things that we've just run out of and uh, see where we're going to go because I've got a giveaway later which I'm really excited about so keep on watching. near Minehead and we found a really cool campsite, very basic, huge open field. There's about four um, motomes over there, some really nice showers and toilet block at the other end and we're close to the sea which is always a key thing that we like to have so we can go on a huge coastal walk with the dog. But today I've actually got a giveaway, my first ever giveaway for this channel. It's not a sponsored video. I've just been sent a box of wine and you could win this too. I'll leave a link to on how to enter below. Um, it'll probably be very basic, just say what kind of wine you like or something like that. I'll work a question out. But I'm gonna open it. And another reason we're on a campsite is I never feel completely safe having some alcohol while we're wild camping. It's never really a good idea. So this box of wine is a monthly subscription box and I've been given a free one month subscription by Le Petit Ballon. Le Petit Ballon. I don't know if I've said that right. Let's open it. I've just given myself a cardboard cut. So I have a booklet in there called The Gazette. There was also something online where I signed up for my free box um, and I could tell them what things I preferred. I can't drink cider, it's a competitor. <laughs> that is nice. Cider from a box from home. <laughs> so I've got two bottles of wine. I'm hoping one of them is not red because I used to love red and I told them I didn't like red anymore. Oh, I think I've got red. <laughs> so I've got a red cape wine, which I probably will use in cooking more than anything else, but we'll try them in a mo. And I have a white wine. Don't ask me to pronounce these things, I have no idea, but France. It's from France and I saw Africa there and Africa. Do we have a corkscrew? <laughs> I need a corkscrew. I'm going to sip them and just tell you. Oh, how are we going to keep them closed while we're in a camper van? Oh, someone's getting drunk tonight. Ha ha ha, found it. Someone's clearly bored of me trying to sip some wine. Sauvignon Blanc. Did I say that right? That's nice and fruity. It doesn't taste too strong. 12.5%. It doesn't taste that strong. Yeah. That one gets a thumbs up. Let's see what the next one's like. Apparently I was wrong. It wasn't fruity. I do like dry wines. Can I get that back in? Yay! It's gone back in! Perfect for camping. <laughs> Time for the red. Not for me. It's definitely cooking wine for me. So if you like a red, maybe... Uh, oh, you want that one? It's 14%. It does taste quite a, a subtle red, but I do prefer a white or a rosé. Anyway, let's get back with our camping holiday. Oh, and another thing I didn't tell you is there's a car boot right next door to this campsite. 
and it starts in 15 minutes. So I'm going to check out uh, what we've got because I haven't been to a car boot in ages. And maybe we can find something that's useful for the van. So yeah, it's quite exciting. <laughs> So I thought I'd quickly show you what I've got. There wasn't a great deal for us because we had to be really strict because we're in a camper van, but I bought a brand new looking donut um, bun holdery cakey thing. That's from a food blog. That was a pan. A brand new tunic top for me for a pound. I don't know if it's my colour, but I just like the look of it and I picked it up. So, uh, interesting. A glue gun for £1.50 because I'll probably need that on the virtual blind in our conservatory soon. And some tennis balls. Is it his now? I don't know. So we're now going to go for a big coastal walk and eat some leftover dominoes and I'm looking forward to it. Come on, fetch! And the bag is empty. £5 I spent and we had to spend £2. That was £1 each to get in. So well worth it, probably if you live local and you can take those home because they were a fair bit of stuff. Anyway, let's go for our walk. Walkies! <laughs> well, I'll have to tell you more now. I think pizza is better eaten at the beach. Do you like my new den? It's got a freezer door just over there. A bench that's been cemented in somehow. It's got a little fire. It's even got a sandal if you want it. Somebody spent a lot of time doing that. Strange. to the comments from people that saw me struggling opening the fridge didn't even think about turning it around but luckily it's done now and we wanted to do it in the last holiday vlog but annoyingly we didn't have a torque screw set um, that look like allen keys the ones that we've got um, we left those at home that was while we were doing this lino so we had to wait till the following weekend but now it's done it's so much easier but the only thing is that we can't leave it in vent mode where it's partially open while the bed is down. It's not the end of the world, but um, but it is much easier just to open it from this angle by far. The other thing is the lino. We bought some cheap lino for a tenner from a remnant place in Nottingham. It's not the best because it's not thick. It started to ripple in places. So we're gonna completely change this and get some really heavy duty stuff. So if you are thinking about doing something like that yourself, I wouldn't bother getting something like this personally again. Um, probably heavy duty stuff that you find in public toilets would be better. Mr Carpenter's daughter is right here trying to disturb me so I'll try and answer some questions, try to, um, questions that have been asked recently. So if somebody asked me what size uh, engine this is and it's a 2.2 litre engine and it's a diesel and it's a 109 CDI compact Mercedes, that means it's a short wheel base. Anything too big I'd probably feel uncomfortable driving. And then somebody also asked me, what miles per gallon do we get? I'm sorry I can't remember anybody's names, but we get 37 miles per gallon and that's recently, while well, we've worked it out, while well, it's fully loaded with all our furniture and stuff. But bear in mind, we had ours remapped, I think it was late November. So I don't know what it would, you'd normally get if it wasn't remapped. Another person asked, what toilet do we have? So I'll pop you into the back. Right, now we keep our toilet in the back here and we have bought some quick release catchers we just haven't installed them yet because we can't actually take this toilet out this was a Thetford is that right I don't know but this is the smallest toilet that we could find it was 50 pounds and we've never even used it yet we always seem to find places where there's a public toilet um, and we did before when we used to have a Mazda Bongo and a toilet in that so we might probably use this at the most five times a year let's say so 
see, but we need to get this sorted ASAP. So that is what it looks like, and I'll leave a link below to that toilet. And I've also been reminded that some campsites do insist that you do have a portable toilet. So bear that in mind. Particularly in the New Forest, we uh, did have to buy one in Southampton and go back to the New Forest to say, yeah, we've got a toilet, can we camp here? Yes. And then recently I uploaded an Amazon haul video and Paul Hewitt, I remember his name because it was the last comment I've received. He asked me about what my fiance fills in his packing cubes. I have a um, spare two packing cubes that I actually use for dirty laundry. But my fiance I think uses all of his. So I thought I'd just quickly show you what he's got in there. It won't be very exciting. As far as I'm aware, it's mostly tops and jumpers. We tend to pack more than we probably need for any eventuality. So in the smallest zip compartment, it's got toiletries, tablets, just in case we get headaches and things, and a microfiber towel, and just shavery bits and things like that. Then in the next size up, he's got lots of bottoms, shorts, leggings, lounge pants, and, uh, and outdoor trousers. Then the biggest compartment usually has jumpers, tops, he's got a gilet in there, but he tells me that's what takes up most of the space, is just to make sure you've got jumpers to keep warm. And then another medium sized one is just full of underpants and socks, and this is just for a weekend trip. And then the toiletry pouch, I actually just put my makeup in mine, but uh, my fiance hasn't got anything to put in there yet, but I'm sure we'll think of something eventually. And then something that my fiance insisted on buying, which has been really useful, he loves to shop on Amazon. Nothing of this is sponsored, by the way. Um, is this solar power backup charger? And we'd left it in the conservatory just to charge while the sun is directly on it. And it actually comes with a clip. Uh, it's actually attached to one of our rucksacks. And as we've gone for walks, we've just left this exposed to the sun. And I actually left my backup charger at home this weekend by mistake so I did need it and within probably about let's say 20 minutes it just shot up to 53% uh, from 7% so I was very impressed and it didn't cost that much from what I remember so I'll leave a link to, um, to this below if you want to check it out obviously read the reviews first like what we do and it's got a torch there I've never used a torch this is literally the first time I've used this today it trickle charges it just seems to offer more than a general backup charger. So if anybody's got a question, in fact, why don't we just do a Q&A or something like that. If you've got any questions, just comment below and if I've got enough, I'll round them up and do a video and try and answer them all. So I think that's it. Yeah. So it's now 10 to 11. The time has really gone fast today and I'm now squeaky clean. I've just been in one of the nicest, warmest showers on a campsite. I uh, I don't like cold showers, it just puts me off. And I'm squeaky clean, I've got the kettle on, I've got two whispers that are nearly ready to go. My fiance's in the shower because we can't leave the dog on his own, he will bark like a bitch. And we're just gonna catch up to see who's winning the Eurovision Song Contest. It's never gonna be us, is it? So, uh, Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Hi. Why are you ignoring us? Come on. What's, what's the matter? What do you want? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Eggs straight from the campsite, £1.30 for six. Free range. Perfect with our breakfast. So thanks again for coming along with us on another camper van adventure and if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget if you want to be in for a chance to win a month subscription to Le Petit Ballon's Wine then I'll leave a link to my blog post on how to enter but I'll let you into a little secret that my blog is much more quiet than here so your chances are going to be very high. Oh and if you've got a question you'd like me to answer in a future Q&A then comment below and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye!